It's so empty here without the children. I wish I could have gone on that field trip with them. I'm glad you're here. Victoria's sick. One minute she's fine, and the, the next she's hardly breathing, and the doctors can't find anything wrong with her. A necklace. A necklace? Well, well, it's on the dresser. She broke the latch, but I fixed it. Has anyone been asking about her? No. They're here. I've got to move Victoria fast. Where's the safest place in the building? Oh, uh, oh, the basement, the basement. Get down there quickly. I'll meet you there with Victoria. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, heaven be praised. Oh. Come. <coughs> Thank you. You came back. Just like you said. I was so, so scared. Were those gunshots? Don't worry. I promised Diana to keep you safe. I know what you've been through. No one will harm you ever again. Likes his carnage. Sick, sick shit. Get some off. Like Hello, everybody. I am still here talking to you. Just uh, this whole mission makes me angry, and I want you guys to completely understand why it makes me angry. Sister Mary is waiting in the basement. I will meet you both there. He was talking to her, Victoria. Um, this is why it makes me angry, this mission. Finishing off what we started. Let's go. We gotta find the girl. So, these thugs are working for Wade, and they've gone into this orphanage. And they've just, find out what they get. they're butchering all of the women that work there. Now, I mean, they're nuns. I'm not a religious person at all, but this just makes me mad. I really want to kill all of them. I do, but I'm Hitman. I'm Agent 47. I can't just go about killing people on, on a whim. I'll grab this fire axe because it'll add points to my inventory at the end of the mission. Now, they are torturing a guy in this chair trying to get information, trying to figure out where Victoria is. They don't know she's in the elevator. Um, I'm going to sneak past them. I've got to wait a little bit until they're done torturing him, though. Um, it, it, this mission just bothers me. There's a couple of mini ninjas around. You'll see there's one on that shelf there. Mini ninjas, I believe, is a Square Enix Eidos game. So it's just a little nod to their old 
old older games not too old but you know just a nod to a game that they made I think I can sneak behind this guy I'm gonna try it if it fails I'm sorry here goes nothing there we go beautifully done by myself if I do say so uh, you can pick up these syringes as well and you can not you can take guys out with those syringes lots of creative ways but the whole thing we're doing right now is looking for these fuses. There are four of them. That is number one. The rest of them are all downstairs. We've got to make sure we uh, get the rest of these fuses without being seen by these gentlemen out here. One of them is walking away. <coughs> this guy's a smoker. And he's going to turn away and uh, walk to the other side of these rails, uh, which is... Nice for us. Makes it easy for us to slip down unnoticed. And we do have a checkpoint down here. And I'm going to activate that right now. There we go. Checkpoint activated. We're going to go ahead and sneak now. You'll notice that there is one there closest to us. We're going to save that for last. Uh, because we have to go that way at the end of this mission or when we found these other fuses the last fuse is there and then we have to go that way as it is so we're gonna wait for this guy to uh, go away and then we'll, we're, once he's gone we're gonna exit and we're gonna swap out our gun for this gun we're not gonna use guns but so those guys are just yelling at each other about finding this girl, otherwise their boss is going to have their ass, and yada, yada, yada. Um, they're all moving now, or at least some of them are moving. I think we can move out of the way now without being caught. Oh god, that was, that was a little risky on me, and I shouldn't have done that, but I did it, and now it's done with, and you're going to deal with it. Alright. Just don't second guess your actions and you should be okay. Oh, we've got a book. I don't know what good that book is going to do us, but fact is we do have it. I'm going to sneak, I'm going to stay over here. It doesn't really matter um, where you wait, so long as you wait somewhere and are hidden. Because that guy's going to go into this room. He's going to talk about how much money they can make from all these drugs that's in this room. So, they aren't a problem anymore. We're going to sneak back over here. And I'm just picking up as much stuff as I can because the game does score you on things that you pick up. So, like, I got a new toy robot. The game's going to go, oh, you found the toy robot. Awesome for you. One more thing off the checklist. Um, it's not a necessary thing to have, but it is there. Now, this part is probably the most tricky we gotta wait for that guard to walk over there luckily he did it quickly we'll just sneak back into this vent and we're back to where we started um i really want to just kill all these guys i do for what they did to the nuns i like i said i'm not a religious person but it's not about that it's just these are fucking innocent people here that are just trying to help some kids who don't have parents and they're just assholes. They're just assholes. Now, you see we've got guards in this room. And uh, there's a secret door right there. we got to get through that door. But this place is full of guards, making it a little bit tricky. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going about this the right way, I'm going to be honest. But the only way that I can see of doing it properly is by taking my little robot friend and tossing it in the room. What? You hear that? You look over there. I'll check here. Yeah. All right. So I now they're all distracted by the sound I made. Otherwise, it's gonna be a real long ride home, buddy. So now I'm in here, no big deal, and his back is mostly turned, 
So, I can open this up, and I'm in. It's not the uh, most intuitive thing to do in the world, but that's how you get it done without being caught. I would really love to walk into this room just guns blazing. Um, there is a submachine gun coming up soon, and I would love to just take it and mow down everybody in here. There's another mini ninja. Uh, just seeing a word he is. Uh, we've placed the fuse. We can hear Victoria screaming. We're going to find out why she's screaming in a moment, unfortunately. You're a tough guy, Lenny? Hmm? Tough guy? Stop it! Come on, man, you tough guy? Come on. Come on, you tough guy? Come on, man! No! Come on! Okay, I'll show you! Uh, Shut up, bitch! Oh! Or I'll put a cap in your ass! Look out, everybody! We better make room for Limp Dick Lenny! Come on! You know what, way? Just... Oh! 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 Oh, I got blood on my hand, boy! Y'all see that? This is like pop like a watermelon! <laughs> Lenny! <laughs> I'll tell you what, Lenny. We better let the grown-ups clean up this. Mm-mm. Boys, keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job. I really want all of them to die. I really do, everybody. Unfortunately, only Wade is going to get that, uh, pleasure uh, of, of, of being murdered by me. He's going to be the only one that experiences that. We should get the hell out of here now. They won't be. We would know about it a long time ago, so relax, okay? Alright, so this guy's going to walk that way, and we're going to sneak on past both of them. They're all, they're both dumb. Oh, just the blood boils when I play this level. Just, oh, I want them to die. I really do. It's the bald guy. You know, the one who was at the terminus. I keep hearing all these rumors. Whatever, they can't really be true. Anyway, he's got Wade all fired up. We're risking the chair, because that lunatic wants a standoff. Keep it down, Jesus! What? Alright, distract them. There is a piece of evidence up there. Uh, I'm going to ignore it. Uh, don't feel like it's just, it's not worth the hassle of these two guards. Screw this. That pe that's that piece of evidence right there on that box. Um, just personally, I don't think it's worth it. You have another thing to throw. You can go ahead and throw it, and you know they'll go check out the other direction. But if you really wanted that piece of evidence, I would suggest doing it on a second uh, playthrough because it'll still count your non-lethal playthrough, and you can do a lethal playthrough uh, next time and still collect the evidence. Just a little heads up there, you know. And plus, then you know, doing the not doing the doing the non-lethal playthrough, just killing all these guys would feel good. You'd feel vindicated. Oh, I I might have to do that. <laughs> I might have to just uh, just murder everybody in this place, and then I'll collect the evidence. Then sounds like a good plan. I like my plan. I really want these guys to die really badly. All right, he's turned his back. That guy is not looking, and we'll sneak back here. No issues. Here's where things get fun. You are, boy. 
I don't know how Billy Carradine found me or how he knew I was there, but our goal now is to eliminate him. There's another gun down here we can get. Um, you can go up there and have a shootout. He does have two guards with him. You can see that uh, Victoria is laying on the ground. Now, going up there and taking him out like that with a gun isn't very Hitman-like. Uh, again, not guns blazing. So we're going to turn off the steam valve. Okay, valve. Steam. Gaben. And we're going to enter this little duct here. Now he is sending our guard. He's sending his guards back to where we were. He doesn't realize we're flanking him through the gate or grate or whatever. So now his guards are over there. All we got to do is walk around. I've already got the drop on you, you son of a bitch. Take this with your drop. Yep. He just got burned alive to a crisp. Colonel Sanders couldn't do it better. What up, bitch? That's it. We got the girl. Stop struggling, you little bitch! Yo, Wayne! Who's the lamp dick now, you cocksucker? Make fun of me, I'll teach you a thing or two. I hope you die real hard and real long, you fucking motherfucker. And you, Baldy, don't you fucking move. I'll put a, a fucking bullet in her head. That's what I'm saying. Wait, this is what happens when you fuck with Lenny. Don't you fuck with Lenny anymore. South Dakota, you're a long way from home. <coughs> I got wood, man. Why do I have wood? Sick motherfucker. That's why he's got wood. Well, that's how you do the Rosewood mission, uh, the orphanage halls and central heating, all in one video. A little longer than 15 minutes, but I'm sure you guys appreciated it nonetheless. Uh, if you do appreciate it, go ahead and hit the like button, because I would appreciate that, and that'll let me know that you want more Hitman. And if you do want more Hitman, stay tuned, because very soon you will have some. Thanks. Goodbye. You're going to be playing this game, though. Right? I will be hands-on with Ask Creed 3. We're going to try to, our hardest to get 100% sync throughout the game. Yep. And you are going in blind. More or less, uh, at, at, at least at the, at the start, I'm going in blind. I think, you know, now that we've got the game, I'm going to spend some time with it later. Probably do my own little playthrough, but like I always do.